Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are doing this really pretty springtime, happy time makeup look. And we're using my current favorites and a couple of new things. So current slash new favorites, new things that I'm trying out. And let me tell you, everything I tried out, I freaking loved. So this is a good one. And if you wanna see how I got this look, all the new things that I'm trying out, especially the brows, the brows are really, really great. So if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a current favorites because that is what everyone wanted to see. So, so that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna start off with a base. This is something I've really been loving. I've talked about it a few times, but I definitely love this one is the Pomegranate Mattifying Primer from Kors. And I really just, I really like it. I think it does help really mattify my skin and keep it, you know, from looking super greasy throughout the day. So I just put that in and it feels so nice and weightless which is something else I really love about it. Um, doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel heavy or like silicone. It just feels really nice and it smells pretty good too, but not too strong of a smell. And then on top of that, what I'd like to do is I've gone back to the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I saw that they came out with new ones, like a mattifying one um, and all like a grip one and all this other stuff, it's really good. So I just put some of that on and I just pat it into the areas where my pores kind of show up a little bit more intensely to really kind of smooth everything out. I feel like this also helps to mattify just a little bit too. And then right here, we got that. Okay, and then something I've really been loving lately is, sorry, this is all red. I picked on it. But, uh, what I've really been loving lately is the Bite Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Sounds really good. Sounds like it's good for your skin too. So I bought it, loved it, and I think it's really, really good for either, you know, oily skin or dry skin. I think it's the perfect combination of both. And I have the shade L40, and that's what I'm going to use today because I'm just really, really loving this one. I just love how it's not super, you know, it's not a full coverage foundation, but it does give you like at least medium coverage and you can definitely share it out and use less for a more skin-like finish if you want. I just like the finish. I think it's pretty. I think it's perfect for an everyday type of foundation and I definitely recommend it. So and it's even better because you can use it whether you have oily skin or dry skin. So I just love when brands do that because I think lots of people want to try the same one out but maybe their skin type just doesn't let them uh, love it like other people do so love this part and then I'm just taking my brush and we're gonna put this on this is the first time I've put on makeup in a while and I kind of forgot how I did my lighting so the lighting might be a little off but I kind of feel like maybe it looks more true to color so that might be a good thing. Okay, so um, I got this all on. As you can see, it's just a very nice medium coverage type of foundation. Yeah, you can still see a bit of the imperfections that I have, but it's not very noticeable and I still feel like I look like me, so it's perfect. And then I'm gonna move on to my contour, which nothing new here, but this is one of my favorites, and I feel like because it's drugstore, it's even better. Um, and it's the L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have it in the shade Honey, and it's just kind of like my perfect shade for contouring and giving like a nice bronzy type of contour. So I'm just adding that right there, and blending it out. I'm just adding some color now that we're in spring. So this is going to be a current favorites, but I'm also trying out a couple things. Um, and it'll be something new that y'all get to see. Like I have a new brow product that I got during the Ulta um, 21 Days of Beauty steals. And it's from Urban Decay and I wanted to try it. And I was like, oh my gosh, $12, I'm going to get that and I can try it out. So we'll see how that works. Okay, so one of the new things that I'm trying out is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And I got this because it's supposed to be a little bit more natural looking, a little bit more hydrating. Um, and I love Bare Minerals. They're just all natural. And they're one of like the first clean beauty brands. They've always kind of been that way. So I really love them. Wanted to try it out and have less kind of um, drying 
uh, concealer, even if it's a little bit less coverage and have a more hydrating so. Putting that on and I, I bought this during the Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Beauty and I wanted to try it out. It's like perfect, I can try it out with like nine bucks, nine, 10 bucks, I don't know. And I'm just going to use, okay, so I found it. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to blend that out. And so far I'm loving the color. I think I definitely picked the right color, not too um, bright because I don't really like that whole bright look anymore. And I think it looks really, really nice. Definitely giving me some coverage and brightening it a little bit, but keeping it nice and natural, which I'm really, really digging. I think that looks pretty good. So did I mention what shade I got? I got the shade Medium Golden, which was supposed to be more golden, I guess. So just a little bit right there. A little bit right there. And then I'm just blending that out. I'm really just using a little bit on my forehead because I don't need too much. I just want it to kind of blend nicely into the rest of my face and look cohesive. And then kind of toning down that nose contour there. And then I think I'm also just going to add a little bit more right here, right there, and just um, right here. It feels very lightweight, by the way, so not heavy or cakey at all. Another plus. So now I'm just gonna set everything and I'm using one of my OGs, one of my favorites, definitely been using it a lot lately, and it's the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder, the translucent, uh, translucent shade, and I just restocked up on this one because that one's about to be empty, and during the Ulta Beauty sale, they always have it and bring it back in stock, so I always get two, and it lasts me for the next, until the next time they have it on sale, basically. I'm just going to lightly bake. I feel like kind of going all out since this is the first time I've put on makeup in like two weeks. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the eyebrows and this is something I'm really excited to use and it is the Urban Decay Brow Blade, which was on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta as well. And I got two shades, but I'm trying out Neutral Nana which I think is gonna fit me pretty good. And I really love this because I really love the MAC um, shade and light or pencil or marker thing, that brow product that I really, really love because it just gives you that fine um, hair-like strokes. Uh, and I think it's really, really cool. So I wanted to try this one out. The one side is the waterproof pencil, which is nice. And then the other side, is the little marker, which is really, really cool. And it's just like the um, MAC one, uh, where it's um, multiple, like, uh, not threads, fibers or something. I don't know what they're called exactly. So I'm just going to start like I normally would. What I really wanted was one that wasn't too red or dark or ashy because my hair is red, but it's not like super red. So I think this one's gonna be a good fit for now. We shall see. I really like this with how thin and precise the hair like strokes are coming out. That's so good. Wow, you see the difference just with that? Like, that's really good. have to push hard at all or anything. This is really cool. I might like this one more than the MAC. So far it's like really really good. I'm really amazed guys. You know I'm really stuck into my favorites for brow products so when one really makes me love it or have this reaction I just feel like you know it's gonna be good. I mean just look at this. Such thin hair-like strokes. Wow. I wonder what happens when I blend it out, when I brush it out. Okay, so I just added a little bit of the pencil to kind of get in the center right there where it looks a little bit more sparse. And now I'm just kind of brushing it out, seeing how that works. It's looking really good so far. Wow. It's really matching my um, brow color. 
it's not giving me too much like warmth or anything because my brows are pretty like neutral toned they're not very warm or ashy looking so this is really good just gonna have a couple more strokes wow okay okay it's making me definitely not regret putting on makeup today i'm finally looking like a human again okay i'm done obsessing over these brows but seriously they just look so good. That thing is just so nice. I cleaned it up a little bit with some concealer and now we can move on to the eye look, which I know it was between spring makeup and current favorites. So we're just going to mix both of them together and we're going to do some kind of spring makeup here. I think we're going to go something easy peasy. All right, so we're really going to jump into spring with this look and we're going to go ahead and use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette because nothing says spring more than this palette. Look at these colors. I mean, just check that out. They're so bright. And we're only gonna use one color and make it super simple for everyone. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for just full on spring look, we're gonna go into the shade Gumdrop, which is this really pretty light purple, lavender-ish kind of color. I saw Nikki Makeup use this and the look was just beautiful. So I'm kinda, you know, stealing her idea a little bit. But it's so pretty and I'm not using the same products besides the palette. I think she did use the palette. And yeah, just recreating it in my own way. So that's what we're gonna do and that's what we're gonna use. Let me just blend anything out on my lids. Okay, so we're just dipping into the gumdrop color and I am lightly patting this because I don't want any fallout. So maybe I should put on some translucent powder just to make sure if anything does fall underneath, I can easily just swipe it away. All right, so like I said, I'm just patting it on to really pack that pigment. I mean, look at that. That is bright as hell. Jeffrey does not play around. And it's not really patchy, which is, I feel like it's so hard to do when you have these really beautiful, bright colors to make something that's not patchy. All right, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and dip in a little bit into that gumdrop color again with this very fluffy little blending brush and just blend these edges out. Just like that, very softly. Kind of creating a little bit of an outwards type of wing, but not too much. Just giving it a little bit of shape. It's just so pretty, I just love it. Okay, now we're gonna go into the bottom. I can find a clean pencil. That's clean enough. And just apply that color to the bottom. I'm trying to pat it versus swipe, even though it's a little bit harder to just pat it on since my eyelashes are like directly in the way. All right, now for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this really pretty like shimmery pink. Let me see how this swatches. Okay, <gasps> whoops. This shimmery pink right here and put that in the inner corner. Um, I think that'll look really pretty and kind of complement the purple pretty nicely. Yes, that looks really nice. Looks definitely more sheer or less pinky once you put it on. Just like that. All right, so that's that. And then we're gonna go in with my mascara now. And I'm using an, an OG favorite. I feel like this is everyone's favorite just because it's so nice. And let me just curl my lashes. I've been using the Grande Lash um, Serum. I think they actually are growing. So it's really exciting. I kind of didn't want to use this one because I accidentally got the waterproof one. It's so hard to take off but this is my favorite formula, so. I just love the look it gives to my lashes, it's so good. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the blush. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put on lashes yet. I just kind of don't feel like that's where I'm at these days, but I might, I don't know. Um, we're gonna move on to the blush, and this is like one of my favorite palettes of all time, and this is from Morphe. Their blush palettes are the best. This is my favorite, one of my favorites, and then I love the um, warm toned one, which has more like peachy tones, 
but this one's really really pretty i love the pinks i love this color these colors right here because they're like pinky peach colors and but we're for or but for this look we're gonna go into the shade hot which is this really nice pretty pink color and i'm actually gonna mix it with sexy which is this more like pinky peach color so i'm mixing those two because i do want a bit of a pink flush and i'm just going to put that on top being real careful not to put too much yeah that looks good all right and then for my highlight this is one i've really been loving i've talked about it before just because it's so good and this is the milk makeup oil stick i believe hydrating oil stick and it's just clear oil nothing to it but i like to just rub my fingers around it and then when i want just like a nice clear glossy type of look with no pigment nothing too fancy more natural looking i put this on the tops of my cheeks right where my regular highlight would go and i just tap it very careful very careful to tap it versus like blending it in or rubbing it in because then you'll just take away all the makeup you put on this way nothing comes off you just get that nice added glow you see that looks so pretty dewy all right so now let's move on to the lips and one of my favorite i think everyone should have this one it's just a perfect nude lip liner if you have my skin tone or maybe a little bit lighter and this is the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade bff it's just such a nice like pinkish brown nude color and i think it's amazing exactly what i need right now and they're so inexpensive that how can you just pass up on this because the shade is just so nice and natural looking while giving you like the ability to, to slightly contour your lips if you want to And then something else that I've really been loving is the look of like stained or blotched lips and I just think it's so nice. It gives you that nice color without actually putting too much and I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip which is, this, this shade is really one of my favorites. I want an even pinkier shade but this one's really nice too and it's the shade Doozy. I just tie it right here. Gives you that nice kind of like berry color and blend it outwards like that I'm just gonna add a little bit more so it kind of looks like you just ate strawberries or something I think it makes your lips look a little bit fuller it's just so nice and then just to really kind of blend it in I'm gonna add a little bit more of my lip liner and then we're gonna add gloss on top because I'm into that into that these days all right, and for my lip gloss, we are using the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Bomb Diamond Milk, which looks just like this. And because I don't want to stain it, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my finger like that. It's already kind of stained, but I don't want to do it even more. And I'm going to just... All right, guys, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Honestly, I can't get over how good the brows look and the highlight because it's just so glossy and dewy and pretty and natural looking i can't help it but okay so this is the finished look and i think it's really pretty i think it's a nice way to incorporate some spring colors i don't think it's too out there i would definitely wear this every day i feel like a lot of people could wear this every day and it's still not like it's not like a dark purple pink you know or anything like it's a lavender color i think it's nice and you could always sheer it out a little bit too i think so yeah this is the finished look and i think it's so pretty and i'm so happy that i finally put on makeup after a while the coronavirus is fucking everything up but um not me i'm back and i'm making more videos and the next one you're gonna see the style video so keep tuned hit the notification bell hit the subscribe button follow me on instagram and everything else um my instagram is it's alejandra castro my blog is www dot it's alejandra cast no wait my blog is it's ala no it's not it's ala my blog is alejandra castro dot me so that's my url and yeah you can follow me on instagram follow me there 
and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys like this, and everything I use will be linked down below, so yeah, that's it.